Okay, so how do you convert a decimal into a fraction? Well, it's not that difficult, and if you've forgotten how to do this, no problem. I'm actually going to explain this here in just one moment. But if you think you can do this, here is a nice problem here for us to get started on. We have uh, 0.24. If you know what the fraction equivalent is to the decimal 0.24, go ahead and put that in uh, to the comment section. I'm going to show you the correct answer to this in just one moment. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. I absolutely love teaching mathematics. And I can tell you right now, you can be successful in math. And I'm especially speaking to those of you out there that struggle in math. And even if you failed a couple of math classes in the past, I'm telling you right now, that has nothing to do with your potential or your ability to learn mathematics. What you need is a desire to learn math, encouragement, and great math instruction, clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you need help in your current math course or some sort of special exam that you might be studying for, something that has math on it, something like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, teacher certification exam, or if you're homeschooling mathematics, check out my math help program. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over 100 plus different math courses that span all these categories and much, much more. I'm also going to leave links to my uh, math notes uh, in the description as well because you need something to study from. If you're not taking notes right now, you absolutely need to be a great note taker to be successful in math. But in the meantime, you can use my notes to study from. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the answer right now. So 0.24 is equal to the fraction 24 over 100, and this can be reduced down to 6 over 25. Now notice I'm calling this decimal 0.24, but some of you might have seen this and say, oh, this is 24 hundredths. If you were thinking 24 hundredths, or if you kind of recognize this decimal as 24 hundredths uh, versus 0.24, well, that's excellent because that's really the secret that's going to allow us in order to uh, convert a decimal into a fraction. But if you got this right, that's pretty uh, awesome. Matter of fact, you definitely deserve a nice little happy face and A plus, a 100% and a few stars so you can have an extra special day. Nice job. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into exactly how we convert a decimal into a fraction. By the way, uh, 0.24, again, just to stress this, uh, when you uh, write this decimal as a fraction, we're going to uh, first uh, take 0.24 and write it as the fraction 24 over 100, but you always, always want to simplify all your fractions, reduce them down as low as they can, and that would, in this case, would be 6 over 25. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about how to do this. All right, 0.24 is a decimal. We want to write this as a fraction. In order to do this, we need to uh, review place value. And a lot of you are like, oh, is this this thing with the tenths, the hundredths, the thousandths? A lot of students get confused on this. Matter of fact, a lot of students just get you know, you know, know, angry about it. Like, oh, yeah, I learned that once. I really don't want to learn this again. Well, listen, this is what we're going to need to uh, know in order to write a decimal as a fraction. So let's just quickly uh, review this. It's not that difficult, uh, but here you can see I have a basic place value chart. So here's a number 417.943. So let's just uh, take a look at some of these places and their values. So this seven would be in the ones uh, place value. This one here would be the tens. This right here would be hundreds. But when we're looking at the decimal right here, this uh, anything to the right of the decimal point, right, uh, I'm talking about uh, these numbers. In this particular case, 9 would be in the tenths place. Okay, 4 is in the hundredths place. And 3, in this particular example, is in the thousandths place. So hopefully uh, this kind of... Uh, you know, is a quick refresher because all of us learn this. this is a very basic mathematics, but a lot of us, of course, forget this stuff, especially if you've been away from school for a while. But this is what we're going to need to know in order to write a uh, decimal as a fraction, because the way we're going to do this is simply say the decimal. Okay, we're going to say it out loud. Now, you can say this decimal 
in one of two ways. We can say this as 0.24, but the way we want to say this is using place value. So 0.24 is what? Well, this is in the tenths place, right? This two, it's the first digit to the right of the decimal point, but this four is in the hundreds place. So this is point, uh, this is 24 hundredths, okay? 24 hundredths, that's how we would say this. So we're gonna write 24 over 100, 24 hundredths. You literally uh, write the fraction you are saying. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. And it's as simple as that, 24 over 100. And if you go into your calculator and take 24 and divide it by 100, you're gonna end up with 0.24. And of course, uh, all you need to do is simplify this down into its uh, uh, most reduced form. Okay, so this is not that difficult. Again, where students are gonna conf uh, get confused about this is they forget place value, but hopefully this is a quick little refresher. But let's go ahead and take a look at one other last problem here. So let's do 0.24. Let's go ahead and write this decimal as a fraction. Of course, I already did the work here, but let's just stop and think about it. 0.4. How do you say this using place value? Well, you have to go over to your place value chart. This uh, number is uh, the first number to the right of the decimal point. So on our place value chart, we're talking about this number right here. So this, or this place, so in this example, it's 0.9. This is the tenths spot. So this would be four tenths, okay, or 0.4, right? Four tenths or 0.4, but we want to say it using place value because if we can say, oh, this is 4 tenths, you uh, literally just write the fraction 4 over 10, 4 tenths. And of course, we could reduce that down. Or we could reduce this fraction down to 2 fifths. And if you go into your calculator, you take 2 and divide it by 5, you will see that's equivalent to the decimal 0.4. Okay, so how did you do? Well, hopefully this is not that difficult. Uh, probably the thing that holds student up, students uh, up the most here is uh, place value. It's just one of these things we get away from and we forget how to do. But again, basic math is important, okay? Uh, just because you have a calculator, unless you, have, unless you know how to operate your calculator to go from uh, fractions to decimals or decimals to fractions, uh, you can't, there's some calculators that do that for you. There's some functions. In other words, you can uh, put 0.24 and hit a, a key on your calculator that will give you a fraction for 0.24, but not all calculators do this. But even if you have your calculator, you yourself want to know how to do this. And again, this is not that uh, difficult. The key to be successful in mathematics is to literally just master one skill at a time. Okay, don't get overwhelmed. Don't say, oh my goodness, I have to learn algebra. I have to learn all this math. Don't look at it that way. What you have to do is just learn one skill, master that skill, and then move forward. Okay, so if you need additional help with place value or basic decimal fraction kind of stuff, let me give you a couple suggestions. One, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel on basic mathematics, decimals, fractions, etc. And I have a great little mini course uh, in my math help program. I call it my math foundations course. It's literally a three chapter course for all elementary kind of level mathematics, decimals, fractions, percent. It's an excellent little kind of review course for those of you that are getting back into mathematics. And uh, you also may want to check out my pre-algebra course as well. But if this particular video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.